Hello, my friends. Today, I have a very special tour for you. A virtual tour through the most impressive monumental building of Madrid, the City Hall. The Sibelius Fountain in Madrid is famous all over the world. And behind it, Madrid City Hall building, one of the favorite touches for tourists to photograph. This building was the first step to provide Madrid with an architecture, according its status as the capital of Spain. Modern architecture emerged in Madrid to serve the needs of the upper and middle classes. Among the architects of modernist architecture, the star was Antonio Palacios. When he was only 30 years old, he won the competition for the construction of the new main post office in Madrid. The construction of this building took Antonio Palacios 13 years. Let's enjoy its monumental architecture. Antonio Palacios had an eclectic mentality, which had all the region, Flemish and plateresque architecture elements. Survivors from old times when this building was a central post office. Beautiful copper mailboxes. I love them. They're sealed now. It's so good that they have not been removed. The main hall is a large place where phone, telephone, post and telegraph services were organized. As you can see, its scenography is spectacular. Palacios buildings are adapted to the urban planning of a modern city. While standing out in its environment uh, and not disturbing the traffic of pedestrians and vehicles. The coffee shop is a nice, modernist style place with a beautiful ambience.
The Sibelis was a goddess of uh, Mother Earth, and two lions were young lovers who were transformed into kings of jungle by goddess after she caught them making love in her temple. The name of the lovers turned into lions is Atalanta and Hypomis. And their story was painted by Baroque artist Guido Reni in one of the Prado Museum's most famous masterpieces. Shall we summarize the first chapter? In the first chapter, we introduced the first building of monumental architecture that Madrid had. The old post office today, City Hall, is a spectacular eclectic building that combines regionalist, secessionist, flamboyant elements adapted to the particular style of its architect, the brilliant Antonio Palacios. Antonio Palacios not only lead a monumental architectural style, as you see, he blended classical aesthetics with avant-garde concepts, both in his public buildings and in apartments for the upper classes. In 1911, Antonio Palacios built one of the first rental apartment buildings for upper class two flats per floor, on ground floor, commercial premises. How beautiful the eclectic French style slate tower in the shape of a cut pyramid, and how romantic it would be to live in the mansard of the tower. I love the octagonal corners, geometrical moldings, the series of vertical bay windows and the cornices with pinnacles of the building. A perfect combination of different styles that, nevertheless, do not overwhelm. It's 11 o'clock, time to do what locals do, to have beer, over mud, with slice of Spanish omelette. Mmm, delicious! Let's give a try to this typical Spanish tapas and this beautiful and very historical place. But today I pass on beer. Christian is the owner of Enoch, traditional coffee shop of Madrid. Now we have one of the best options to have something, beer or vermouth or coffee in your next visit to Madrid. Thank you, Christian, very much. Thank you, too. We love... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, exactly. And you're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome to Spain. Welcome to Spain. Current Cervantes Institute was the first bank building of Antonio Palacios in collaboration with his partner, Joaquin Otamendi, completed in 1918. Cariatis is at the entrance. The influence of Chicago's first school of architecture on Antonio Palacios is reflected on the glazed panels and Corinthian columns. All in all, uh, this is a great sample of monumental architecture typical of Antonio Palacios. Friends, in the back there is a first big commercial building that got Madrid, built in 1919 exclusively for offices, shops, and businesses. And guess, who became an architect? You got it, Mr. Antonio Palacios. Another sign of the architect's devotion to Chicago first school, glazed facade with iron bay windows and double Corinthian columns. Let's have a look inside.
Now I fully understand Antonio Palacios' assertion that this was a work he felt most satisfied with. So my friends, I bid you farewell with three of my other favorite modernist architects. In fact, Antonio Palacios and his colleagues achieved to provide with their monumental buildings the character of a big capital to Madrid. See you soon. Bye-bye.